Welcome to the Unknown Zone, a place where we confront life's biggest questions, like how many fish are in the sea? How many stars are in the sky? How many highlighters did Ada have to Okay, okay, so we're not solving the mysteries of the universe, but today we are going to deal with a new concept for solving an unknown variable. This is the unknown. Okay, so our friend Ada has nine packs of highlighters with four highlighters in each pack. She gives one highlighter to each of her classmates and has 17 left. How many highlighters did Ada give away? How do we solve this problem? Let's start by figuring out how many highlighters Ada had at the beginning. Remember, that's nine packs of four. What equation would you use to represent this word problem? Use H to represent the unknown number. Correct. Now, what is the value of H? Very good. This is the unknown number, the number of highlighters Ada had at the beginning. And remember, after giving out a highlighter to each student, she has 17 left. How do we represent this word problem as an equation? Use g as the unknown number. Great job! Then tell me, what is the value of g? Exactly. And do you remember our original question? How many highlighters did Ada give away? You got it. That means there are 19 students in her class. I know this because Ada gave one highlighter to each of her classmates. Now, do you think we can solve for an unknown variable using division? Let's give it a shot. Remember our friend Richard? Oh, hey friends. He's got a bag of 72 marbles and wants to share them with eight of his friends. That way, we can all play. Good thinking, Richard. Now go and give them out. Oh, I can't wait. I just, oh, no. Oh, oh, geez. Oh, Richard, you're always in such a rush. It looks like you dropped 18 marbles. How many does he have left? Let's write out our equation. Remember, we started with 72 marbles and then subtracted 18. Use m for the unknown variable. Exactly. Now let's solve for m. Good. Richard has 54 marbles left. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. That's okay, Richard. 54 is still a lot of marbles. Now let's draw a model that represents our problem. How many people will get marbles? Or, if we ask it another way, how many units are there in our model? Uh, eight? Close, but no. Why not? Well, Richard, you forgot yourself. If you want to play marbles with your friends, you have to include yourself. So let's divide our model into nine units and write an equation. That's 54 marbles divided into nine units. What is the equation? Use g for the unknown number. Good. Now let's solve for g. Right. That means that each person gets six marbles. Thanks, Richard. 